Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com, and I usually do a stock signals video every day. It's slightly different. This is an update on my hot stocks for 2019. I want to let you know where we are in the trades with those and a couple of new setups today. So let's start with Into. This trade is going very well. So we have just broken through this major resistance level yesterday. So remember, we entered this at 206.75 was on a previous video uh, 195.19 with a stop loss we just really got some momentum going yesterday range bound for quite a long time but yesterday we got this big green candle increased volume closed through on the other side of this uh, resistance level so looking good I'm gonna manage this sensibly so I just want to get another day in here and then we will look to adjust the trading stop to break even okay so just below this pivot point this move lower here I just want another day so be prepared if you're in this trade to uh, get that higher high higher low at this point here and then move uh, after today this trading stop now to make it risk free and then I will um, update this as we go along most likely it will go up come back and test this resistance level of support and then have another go at which stage we can then start to manage it more aggressively but at this moment in time let's see how this price action goes but it's in profit it's looking very good so next on the list is adobe so we're in adobe on the four hour so let's just go to the four hour time frame here so this is looking really good now. So we entered this on this potential trend reversal, if you remember, coming from these lows from this big support level here, one, two, three. So we got the entry at 240.06, okay, on this breakout before the wave three was formed. The wave threes happened, the wave fours pulled back. There's been another opportunity for an entry going through the 6.4 moving average high here, the green, and the back into the channel there, that uh, cyan channel line there. Um, but the trade is going extremely well. We've just tried to poke ahead through this resistance level here from the left. If we can clear that, the next zone uh, at the 2.62 level is our target. What we're going to do to trade manage this at the moment is we just want to see if we can consolidate this move up at the moment see if we have a pullback and get a higher pivot point to this wave four once that happens we've got a good support level to find for a a, a, a trailing stop but at this point in time we had a big move up yesterday in the first half of the session then we can consolidate it let's see if that momentum can continue into today's session but good looking trade so far and the second of the two of the five hot stocks that I'm looking for uh, enjoying 2019 to keep trading. Now, Costco, we're actually looking for a short at this on, on the moment because it is struggling. We are on the weekly waiting for a big fifth wave, fifth wave move, uh, and it, it, it's just struggling to move out of this level. So it may come back uh, and look for a fifth wave down at the moment on the daily so we're just getting ready that I've set that up 205.75 for a potential short if it's not got enough juice and this this falters a little bit we could get a negative run into the next lot of earnings there so in March so we've got that order on if we look on the weekly we're, we're poised we're poised for a potential fifth wave move let me just bring that all the way back over here for some reason it went across so let me just check we got I want the 10 year yeah okay so what we have here is we've had the wave four pullback on the weekly we just need some extra juice to get through this this uh, resistance zone that's causing the main problems at the moment this support and resistance zone on the weekly is causing causing that issue on the daily and it may turn back down again but if we go through this 220 line we've got a trade on Costco long all the way up to 260 so we're in that indecision phase at the moment with this stock so hence why I've got a bit of an insurance play on there uh, for a short on the daily time frame so the other two now, I've, I'm setting up trades for those today. First one is UNP. Uh, 
Okay, so we're on the four hourly on UMP. So remember, this is a potential fifth wave move on the weekly. This is the daily time frame. Now, we've come from these lows, which was the wave four on the weekly. We've had a gap up. We've had good earnings. We've still continued to move higher. But then we've gone range bound after that move higher on, on earnings. We've got this previous all time high up here. Uh, but remember, this is a strong growth stock. This is why I chose it for 2019. We want this to make new highs. We want it to test the upper bound of this channel again. So really nice, tight stop and entry here. Uh, let's go to the daily to show that a little bit closer. OK, so we have really got 162.13, which is above the high of this four here. The main thing is we're looking to break out. We're going to keep the stop nice and tight. We've got this high already around about one to one, about $166. So it's going to cause a bit of an issue. But remember, we've got to be in it to win it. We've got to look for these growth stocks making new highs, testing the upper bound of the longer term channel that they're in. So $170 really is a target for me. $162.13 is the entry, $158.25 the stop loss. Remember, overall, um, we're looking to swing this on the weekly time frame. There's not been a great entry on this, but earnings has been good. We've been range bound since then. And now yesterday we've had that green candle for that potential breakout using our black box breakout indicator. The, the entries above the high of this pivot point here. We've got the false breakout uh, bar on the stochastic denoting a really strong bullish trend. All the dots are green at the bottom there on the multiple time frame dot cloud showing good, strong bullish momentum. And then for the first time since earnings, we got a good solid green candle there with increased volume. So we're looking for that breakout 162.13. Going to run into a little bit of a problem here. If it runs out of juice, starts to look uh, weak, just get out, take a little bit of profit and look for a breakout above 166. But I just want to get in early and give it a good go at the upper bound of that. Uh, weekly channel there and then we have PTC now this is on the 60 minute time frame we're going to, just going to go to the weekly just to remind you why we're trading this so we're going to go to the weekly again so on this on the weekly uh, forget this a little bit this is the 60 minute we've had this wave four pullback fantastic support here but it just doesn't want to break out of this range on the weekly so on the weekly, we've still got the, the standing order of 9207 for that long swing trade when we're going to buy those physical stocks and look to swing it for at least six to nine months up to those highs of 115. However, we can't ignore the opportunity now on the 60 minute time frame. <coughs> we've got a good potential breakout here. Since earnings, so er, we had the gap on earnings. It tested the previous support level where we've got the wave four on the weekly. OK, so this is the 60 minute time frame intraday. It's tested it and it's bounced back up massively. We've still got some fresh air up to these intraday highs here at 89.33. So um, yes, less, yesterday, the last hour in the session, we got the green candle on our black box breakout indicator. So we have the signal. The signal gives us an entry above the high of yesterday as well at 87.05. The stop loss 85.70. So we're just looking for one direction, and that's a breakout to the upside to test this 89.33. Now, if it runs out of juice at that point, just take profit. Take the 160% times risk, get out. If we do, however, look to push through there, $92 is our entry for that longer term investment, for that swing uh, for six to nine months. So what we do is we take profit around about there. We use some of that profit. We invest in the stock and we look for that longer term swing. So this is this multiple time frame strategy that I keep talking about in my videos. Part of my elite training course, which is on tradethefifth.com. Now, multiple time frame strategies allows you to become intimate with these stocks and trade them throughout the year on multiple time frames, understanding the main trend and looking and using our tools to look for trades during the year. So this is the plan for PTC at this in this moment in time. We're just looking for that breakout to around about eighty three, eighty nine dollars. Sorry, uh, entry at eighty seven oh five which is above the high of yesterday. 
and the stop loss at 85.70. If we get a quick move up there today, there's nothing wrong with taking that profit. Wait until we get to 92 and using that profit to, to invest in this stock. Okay, so that's it for today. Hopefully a good update on those five hot stocks for 2019. Two good looking trade setups on PTC and UMP and a really good update on the open trades on Adobe and Intu. Okay, so have a great training day. Speak to you all tomorrow.